Fuck, I did not mean to do that. All right. I'm about to start war with literally everybody in the entry point community that dick rides the raven. Let's not sugarcoat this in any way, shape, or form. We need to stop as a community with the K-45 hate. I'm going to put this in the friendliest and most straightforward manner as possible. I like to be very blunt with this kind of shit. You guys dick ride the fuck out of the raven. You guys love the raven so much, but shit on the K-45 as if it's the most useless gun ever. So if you're one of those people who likes the Raven and thinks that the K-45 is the worst in the game, I'm here to tell you with facts and logic that that is completely wrong. And here's all the reasons why the K-45 is infinitely better than the Desert Eagle. Number one, let's just settle this, cost. The K-45 you can get in the standard game and it's actually relatively cheap. I'll put the prices up now. The Desert Eagle, on the other hand, not only is it expensive as shit, but it's DLC, meaning you have to pay 100 Robux just to get this piece of fuck weapon. That doesn't exactly sound like that good of a deal, especially considering you're basically paying to get the worst gun in the game. Number two, this thing's accuracy. Compared to the K45, the Desert Eagle has incredibly high recoil and a pretty shit spread, and there have been many times... Everybody complains about the bugs with the K45, but I've had many bugs with the... Ra with the Raven, where I ADS on somebody and it just straight up doesn't hit. If you've seen my gameplay with the Raven, I usually try to be as precise as possible and like try to take as few shots within short times as possible because I know that if I try continuously firing with this gun, this gun by the way has slow fire rate, if I try to continuously fire, I'm gonna miss like a lot of my shots. So this thing has dog shit accuracy. Compared to the K45 though, the gun has pretty decent recoil, but it, even then with its uh, higher recoil than the UP9, it has pretty good accuracy, and, you know, you can, like, you can continuously fire with no problems, and the bullets will just be, and the spread won't be that large. Number three, ammo capacity. Oh my lord, why do people have such a hard time understanding this? Everybody shits, everybody shits on the K45 and says that it's a useless gun, but how do you explain this? So, you're gonna say to me, you're gonna say that the K45 is a useless gun, Except for the fact we're just going to ignore that like a majority of guards and police officers use this gun. You're telling me that the most useless gun in the game is used by SWAT officers and guards alike? That doesn't make much sense. But look at what happened to Rose. She was the main character. Use the Deagle. Look what happened to her. The freelancer used the Deagle for a while. Look what happened to him. He dies at the end of the fucking story. Agent Hemlock and Agent Nightshade. Look at what happened to those guys. Those guys were idiots with the Raven too. That didn't last them very long now, did it? No. What happened to Ryan Ross? Oh yeah, another main character in the game that died. Well, not really main character, he was more of a side character. But he's definitely more of a main character than the rest of the fucking security guards. Those are NPCs. They're, they're, not, they're not relevant to the story at all. Ryan Ross is. He's, he's basically a main character. Look what happened to him. And his right-hand man while we're at it. All of those guys used the Raven and failed with it. So, if you notice where I was going with that, a lot of guards and enemies use the K-45. So you're not going to have as much trouble finding ammo for the K-45 as opposed to finding ammo for the Raven. If you haven't noticed, there's only, there's like so little places where you can find ammo for this gun. Number five, the difference between stealth and loud. This gun is, the K-45 is great for stealth. The K-45 is good for stealth, not as good for stealth as the UP-9, but I'm not here to compare the K-45 to the UP-9. And the K-45 is way better for loud than the Raven, just off of the reasons I mentioned so far. What's the Raven good at? Well, uh, it's not really good at either. It's outclassed by literally every other fucking weapon in the game. If you want a weapon that's good for stealth, bring either of the two pistols, bring any of the SMGs, Bring the shotgun with the cut stock if you want to. It's actually the same concealment for some weird reason. Or if you're even feeling that crazy, you can bring a fucking F57 and conceal that and carry it too with a suppressor on. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's a little bit stupid. What about for loud? Well, I already explained how useless this gun is in loud. Number six, attachments. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna lose my mind. So, is it really that hard to believe that the K45 has just amount of just almost the amount of attachments as the Raven. Oh, but what about the skins in this game, Agent Kitchen? What are you, a fucking retard? Shut up. Skins do not count as attachments, even though in this situation it technically does. But attachments are made to change the gun statistically in one way or another. These do not help. And it actually annoys me that we now have more skins in the game for the Raven 
then attachments. The gun has five attachments and six guns, six skins technically. Default skin, matte skin, steel skin, gold skin, gold split skin, and chrome split skin, which you can't use except in the free except in the freelancer tutorials mission, but it's there. Sashano coded it and designed it. So, and if even if we don't count that, why the fuck do we have as many skins on a gun than we do attachments? Do you know how stupid that is? Especially when you look at what these attachments are. Three of them are sights. You have dog. You have. Fuck all for barrel mods. You don't even have any tactical mods other than laser. Not that you would want a flashlight. So at least Shoshano is smart with that. But it still bothers me that there's just as many attachments as there is skins. Guys, as a community, we need to fucking stop the hate. The K45 gets shit on the most in the community, and it sucks. I wouldn't have had a problem with the Raven if it wasn't the most overrated gun in the entire game. And just because a gun is overrated doesn't necessarily always mean it's bad, except in this case, this gun sucks. And the only bit of defense I've seen for this gun is that, oh, it has good damage and stealth. Let me break something to you. Every gun in stealth one shots. Every single gun one shots in stealth. So damage, let me, let me spell this out for you. Damage is completely useless in stealth. It is completely useless. There is literally no reason to account for damage in stealth. You can one-shot with the fucking UP9, that's the weakest gun in the game. And you can one-shot with the S97, which is also technically the weakest gun in the game. I guess. I think it has like 40 damage. And so does the S97. I'd assume so because they both chamber in 45... Sorry. I'd assume so because they both chamber in 9mm. Anyway, damage is not a factor either for loud because if you this there's there's no way this is just me. The Raven never seems to consistently one shot to the face or the head. The fact that the Desert Eagle quote unquote one shots everybody but doesn't even one shot to the face on fucking operative really concerns me. And it's not because that it two shots that concerns me. It's the fact that the K45 two shots as well. Or actually, no wait, no, it doesn't two shot as well. Sometimes it three shots or sometimes it one shots. You see how stupid that is? So yeah, in conclusion, people seem to be so blind with the facts of this gun. The facts is that the Raven is 10 times more shit than the K45. Stop with the K45 hate, because the K45 is easily a way better pistol. If you want to debate me about it in the comments, I more than fucking welcome you to. Because there is me and many other people who will be on the same side as me. So if you want war, you will fucking get war. Thank you, goodbye, have a blessed rest of your day, unless you are a Raven user that shits on the K45. I hope you have a fucking horrible day and somebody runs over your cock with a fucking monster truck. Goodbye.